extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In this week's Climate Classroom, in 1988, NASA climate scientist James Hansen famously testified to Congress that humans were unwittingly warming the globe by burning fossil fuels. It took 34 years for U.S. lawmakers to heed the warning, but this past Sunday, the Senate passed its first major bill to combat climate change. It's a big deal for climate and energy, earmarking $369 billion over 10 years to accelerate the transition from fossil fuels to clean energy. The legislation uses tax incentives to compel electric utilities to expand clean energy and entice everyday Americans to buy solar panels and electric cars. Now there is a trade-off for the fossil fuel industry. The bill requires that the federal government balance renewable energy development by offering leases on public land to drill oil. Still, studies estimate this bill will help the United States reduce its carbon emissions 40 percent this decade and potentially create 9 million clean energy jobs and help to better compete with China whose clean energy investment is more than double that of the U.S. I spoke to Dr. Leah Stokes, a professor at UC Santa Barbara, who helped craft the legislation. Isn't there a stipulation in the bill that requires that in order for these tax rebates or incentives on EVs uh, to be applicable, that a certain percentage of the parts need to be made in America? That's right. A lot of this bill is about creating an industry here in the United States on everything from electric vehicle manufacturing to heat pumps to solar panels. And that's going to be great because not only is it going to create good paying and hopefully unionized jobs, it's also going to change the politics so that we've got clean energy jobs in every single district in this country. Now, there's also a pile of money for weather. NOAA gets $200 million for supercomputing and $100 million for hurricane hunters. Now, the House votes on this measure in the coming days. For more Climate Classroom, go to WFLA.com. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.